Hi there, my name is Scott. I'm a radar mitigator in Virginia and I make videos for other radar mitigators and those looking to get in the business and of course homeowners as well. What you're about to see is a video. It's a lost video from 2018 uh, when I encountered a what I now believe is a spring underneath the house. And it really freaked me out at the time and I overcame it and I'll show you how I overcame it. And basically I have a ton of videos like these back in my archives that I haven't pulled out edited and released for you. So uh, what you'll see is a, a lesser polished version of myself and there's a couple things that I do differently now as well because I know things now that I didn't know at the time. You'll see a crawl space. Uh, what I would prefer to do now is seal the underlayment to the walls. I don't think I did that. I kind of got away with that at the time and uh, I ran inch and a half pipe underneath the uh, underlayment. Now I would either use two inch or maybe a corrugated pipe, but at any rate, we pulled it off. But if for those sticklers out there that want to point out every little thing that they don't like or is not up to snuff nowadays, give me a break. It was a few years ago and I didn't know all this stuff. And that's precisely why I have these videos and made this channel because I was lonely. I did not have resources like this to help me out when I was stuck. The video just might be helpful to you out there um, because when it happened to me, I didn't have a reference for it. I had to figure it out. Uh, I drilled a hole into a somebody's basement sub slab and the thing filled up with water. I mean, I was scared to death that I was gonna flood this basement. And um, at any rate, I'll let you get into it and see how we came out. Okay, we've got ourselves a good one today. We have a high water table and a sub slab depressurization system. Hi, my name is Scott. I'm a radon mitigator in Virginia. I make videos for other radon mitigators, those looking to get into the business. And if you're a homeowner, check out www.nrsb.org, that's National Radon Safety Board. Put you in touch with a certified radon professional in your area. So, where I'm at, we are, you know, my region of the United States, we are blessed with a lot of water. And uh, occasionally we'll get a house with a high water table, even heck, springs under the house. And uh, so I've got a mixture of good luck and bad luck on this job. <laughs> um, the radon levels were not high, but the, uh, this is a real estate transaction and the person buying the house wanted the house treated uh, even if it was borderline. So the seller agreed, here I am. I said, okay, we'll put you in a sub slab depressurization system. This crawl space over here is vented, so we could probably disregard that. The sump pump uh, is really way too active to cover up. Matter of fact, you know, you gotta be kind of nosy and snoopy. All right, check out this breaker box. Sump pump. Do not ever turn off. Gee, why is that? Because this basement floods. Look all over the place here from water leaks. All right, so I had no idea, I've never experienced this, that the uh, water table would come up this high. I've had what I call bubblers, where you put the system in and then, you know, there's some water in it and it just, it just gurgles. Um, but I've never had it come up this high. So, what do you do? Okay. I feel the best course of action, based on the radon levels of this home, uh, is to abandon this hole. I'm going to try to get the water out and uh, repair it with uh, masonry, cement, uh, mortar, gravel, etc. And we are going to continue over and go into that crawl space and luckily somebody just put a bunch of good new underlayment down and I'm going to pull from under the underlayment. That's how we're going to um, get past this significant obstacle. All right, see you in the next video. All right, so here we are the next day and uh, just wanted to give you a glimpse of uh, what the total system looked like. It was 
it got pretty late on me last night. But so how we're resolving it is we're going to play to the strengths of the job site and uh, uh, that will overcome the weaknesses. This floor, um, the water table is just too high. Uh, my hole back here, it's not dry. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little concerned about it. It's hardening up, but it's, it's taking its sweet time. All right, so we've got the pipe routed back to the crawl space all right and the way i, I seal uh, my pipes in is uh, i you know you can always find gravel around a job site tap it in that'll make it nice and snug then put back a rod in and then seal it up with a, a nice sealant there but i got that in place right there ready for the sealing okay so we ride it into the crawl space and luck is a factor. Part of this deal, real estate deal is somebody had to put underlayment in. Luckily I didn't have to, it's not my favorite thing to do. And uh, I'll show you how I tied into it. All right. So there's our four inch pipe. We've got it reduced uh, 45 down to an uh, inch and a half. And I just got it tapped into this underlayment here. All right. And I've got it split off. You might be able to see the little rise there. It goes and peaks 45s around that corner and shoots way on down uh, that way. And so uh, that's all we can do. Uh, all we can do is all we can do here. And uh, this is a first for me and I hope my learning experience will assist you. I'm going to crawl out of this hole and go meet another realtor about another job. Then come back and uh, tie up all the loose ends on all this chaos. All right, thanks for uh, tuning in. All right, the uh, job is completed and I'm happy to report that the uh, concrete patch here completely set up. Um, very pleasing to know, I was really sweating that, uh, especially with active water. I was told that only, only, only concrete would set up is hydraulic cement and uh, good old regular Quick Crete did the job. All right. I just felt like maybe you'd want to know what happened with that. Because <laughs> uh, I've certainly been uh, thinking about it. It's been heavy on my mind. But we're good to go. And we are on to the next one. Thanks.